In this video I'm going to show you how to use the new email feature that's built into the credit card processing plugin. First of all, from the general settings under the credit card payments menu, you scroll down until you get to the email settings section. In order to have email sent, you'll need to make sure this box is checked. So if you find it unchecked, just go ahead and check it. And then you're free to set up the email subject line and the email message. Now these are templates, so in other words, each time you see something with the curly braces around it, that will be replaced with a bit of information. And the initial template for the message and the subject show you all of the available values that you can have plugged in. In this case, we're putting the blog name in the subject of the email. So it says transaction summary for blog name. You could say something along the lines of, thanks for your donation and then a colon and leave that there and that would put in the blog name and the blog name in this case is authorized.net for WordPress and whatever you had named your blog would go in here and then you would customize the email message so I'm gonna go ahead and customize this now that I've customized a little bit of this I get to the point where it says log in using your username and password provided below if you were simply taking donations and you didn't have any intention of having someone log in after the fact then you can simply delete this entire section. Otherwise, leave these in and it will either put their username and password or if they're an existing member or they already belong to your blog, then the password will simply say existing password. The subscription notes will include any information you asked them during the checkout process aside from billing details. So for example, if you created a checkout survey or you checked the box on the checkout settings, and let me just show you what those are, if you said ask for comments those details would show up in this section under subscription notes so you could say, change this to say something along the lines of here are the details you specified during checkout finally you can give them a login URL and then it ends sincerely the management so you could say you know something a little more personal once you have made these modifications you simply click update settings now everything's set for emails to automatically go out to new buyers or people that have donated every time a transaction processes so let's go ahead and process a transaction and see how that email looks so we'll open up a new page and load up one of our subscriptions so I just copied the buy now link we provide some details to the checkout page we answer any survey questions that might be part of the checkout and then we provide our checkout details here and buy now so we've successfully processed the transaction and now we're here at the thank you page so now here's what the email looks like notice it says thanks for your donation and then it gives the name of the blog it says we have successfully processed your transaction this email provides you with a summary of your transaction so the purchase details are included and then here are the details you specified during checkout and it says survey answers employer and other employer occupation sales and you may log into your account for further details best wishes to Daniel Watrous so this is exactly what we would specified and again it went out automatically from the blog owner so that's all there is to using the email feature in the credit card processing plugin just come in here check the send email notices box and then customize the subject and the message however you'd like and make sure you update your settings. That's it and have a great day.